the things that fueled last night's huge march on the Brooklyn Bridge was the dramatic surprise raid on Zuccotti Park early Tuesday morning. In Juan's column in today's New York Daily News, you can see a picture of people marching across the Brooklyn Bridge. At the center is New York City Council member Idanis Rodriguez. Well, at the time of the raid, early Tuesday morning, he was arrested at Zuccotti Park. Uh, he was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest, then held in a police van alone, handcuffed outside one police plaza for two hours. Council Member Rodriguez's arrest came just a week after he had helped organize a march from his district in Washington Heights, 11 miles uh, from a largely immigrant community, to occupy Wall Street. Adonis Rodriguez joined us in our studio on Thursday to describe what happened. My plan from the beginning was to be there as an observer. As an elected official, I believe that I have the right to observe a situation where I believe that we need to protect the first amendment of our citizens, especially representing a community as Washington High, Northern Manhattan, where many members have been involved in the Occupy movement. So, and, you I, had, and two days before, you had led an 11 mile march from Washington Heights? It was like two weeks, two oh, weeks, before, two weeks before, one or two weeks before. We, yes, we did together with Senator Espaillat, Assemblyman Linares, all the elected officials, all the labor movement. We walked from Northern Manhattan to Wall Street because we wanted to bring more black and Latino participants to that movement because we believe that this movement is not only for the college student, this movement is only for the unemployment, it's for the working class, it's for the middle class. But one more time, this may is showing that he's disconnected. But and and when so you have no doubt that when you were there and the officers who arrested you that they knew who you were? Did you identify yourself at all as a council member? I, I, I did. A block before I was arrested, there was a large number of demonstrators, and I saw a potential conflict that could happen. And what I did, I moved to the, to the east side of Broadway where there was not any demonstrator, demonstrations going on, any rally. And, and, and they, it was when I walked to the next block two blocks before the park. I believe it was two blocks. I'm not too sure on the, and it was two or three. That's where I was stopped. I said, I'm Councilman Rodriguez. I would like to keep going, walking to the park. I was pushed back. And I was thrown on the floor. A police officer came from the middle of the street. He jumped on top of me, and he twisted my arm and all those, all those type of How things. How big was he? It was heavy. Uh, he it jumped was. on top of you. Did you say I am a city council oh, yeah, member? I did, even when I was down. Uh, on the ground, and he was mashing my face against the ground. I I say like, I'm a council member Rodriguez. Again, I don't want to use a title. I don't want to, I don't want to be treated as because I'm a council member. I believe that we need to protect the rights that we have as citizens. And it was my concern. However, as elected officials, I know that I have also the right to observe a situation where I would not need it. I was planning, I would never plan to interfere or the work of the police officer. They need to do the work. I have been arrested in the past. I have participated in a number of civil disobedience in the Vieques issue, when the Shambell, in a number of occasions. However, those times I decided to be arrested. I know that I was doing something that could who caused my arrest. This particular occasion, it was not only my case, it was a number of people arrested in a way that the NYPD didn't have to do it. And explain what happened in the van when you said all of these t uh, other uh, detainees were taken out of the van. This is in the middle of the night, of this police van that you're in. In the morning, yeah. And you're handcuffed. You were handcuffed in this Very van. Very tight. And you're held alone there? And Juan wrote about it in the New York Daily News. You're held alone there for two hours in this van? Yes. Without, I mean, for me, and not only I was, at that point, again, my concern, and this is my role as a parent, is a completely different experience. If I would be arrested like 10 years ago, seven years ago, I would not have that concern. But now as a parent, my concern was, no, how long I'm gonna be arrested was, I was reminded by my wife, you need to be at this meeting because this is important for our daughter. So my concern when an hour passed, I spoke to the officer who was close to the van and said, can I speak, I'm Council Member Rodriguez, can I speak to a supervisor? And they say, you will speak later on. 
something not, I'm not sure about the quoting, mm -hmm. but it was more later on, not right now. Was well, it explained why you were held for that amount of time and kept from even speaking to an attorney for more than 12 hours? Not at all. And you ne were bleeding neither, from neither your head? Neither, yeah, and neither at uh, any moment they gave me the reason why I was arrested. Uh, most of the uh, uh, individuals that were inside with me, they were already, when after they took the fingerprint, they were given the information, we've been arrested for, but I was, I know my mom You're held for, uh, you're held until 8 o'clock that night. The next day at noon, you hold a news conference. Christine Quinn, um, uh, leader of the New York City Council, writes a letter demanding an explanation of how overall the protesters are being treated, is this correct? And also raising serious questions about her colleagues you, uh, Adonis Rodriguez? Well, she also, she, also, she also told me that her office called the premier, the same, not the day after, the day when that happened. During that morning, she told me that the, a number of phone calls from her office was made to the deputy mayor, to Commissioner Kelly. And, 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 and I mean, things happened the way it did. However, I just want to take this 10 seconds opportunity to invite New Yorkers to join the protest today. Because this movement is not about a council member being arrested or a media person being arrested. It's about a frustration of the working class and the middle class who say we are fed up. We cannot take it no more. Enough is enough. I've been supporting, I've been encouraging my members of my community, and I call everyone to join the protest at different levels. Those who can be arrested, do it. Those that only can be there as a participant and uh, be with the protesters, but send the message to the wealthy community that they can increase the level of contribution to the finance of this society. Because if they don't, we will see more black and Latino going to jail. We see more working class and middle class without opportunity to receive a quality education or getting good jobs in this society. New York City Council member Idanis Rodriguez describing his arrest as uh, he attempted to observe the surprise police raid early Tuesday morning on Zuccotti Park.